everybody, it's Reckless, and welcome to Bring the Fourth Wall. So, in this video, what I'm actually going to do is be giving you guys a first look at the tower and everything that has changed for the Age of Triumph. But before we get into the video, if you guys enjoy it, hitting that like button and giving your opinion in the comment section below would be greatly appreciated. So, we are actually going to be going over all the new gear and all the factions, as well as the Vanguard and Crucible gear that has changed inside the tower. Now, the faction gear, as well as Vanguard and Crucible, will be on a weekly rotation, so every Tuesday, it should, if I am correct, change, and you would have new perks on those weapons. However, the weapons will remain the same. So, our first look is actually going to be at Tess Everest and the Everest Trading Company. We are actually going to look through the a uh, Treasure of Ages, but before we do that, we are actually going to look at this uh, Laurel Wreath shader. And this is what that Laurel Wreath shader looks like. Looks pretty cool. A little bit of gold, a little bit of uh, blue. It's pretty interesting. I like it. So, let's go over the Treasure of Ages mystery bag. Now, you are guaranteed one of these as well as one of these and one of these possible items. Armor of Ages. This is all of the, how do you say, um, events that has happened. This is that gear for those events. We have the Spectre gear. We have your Rimmed gear. We have your Crystalline gear. And we also have your Desolate gear. Emblems of the Ages, they're just emblems. Good thing to know is it'll let you know if you already own the emblem or not. I only have this one. Apparently you can get these ones too. Next is all the emotes. Really not going to go through all of them. But these are all emotes that are from the past events. You can look at them in your kiosk. Ghosts. We got the Devil Ghost as well as Ghost Ghost. I actually have Ghost Ghost. Pretty cool. Then we have your Masks of the Ages. These are all the masks that's ever came out so far in Destiny for uh, whatever the Halloween thing is. I keep forgetting whatever the name was. The only mask that I don't have is this one right here. This Skull Mask. Oh, Festival of the Lost. There you go. That's what it was. Uh, then we got your Shader of the Ages. These are all the shaders. Majority of them came from SRL. And obviously other stuff. Taken King. All that wonderfulness. Then we got your ornaments. Once again, the first couple of ornaments that came out. For all those awesome weapons of yours. Yay. And then we have your ships. Two ships that came out. We have all your horns. And then we also have sparrows. Once again, these are all old um, items that came through the previous... Um, I don't want to say expansions because they're not expansions, but the previous live events. There you go. That's what I meant to say. Then we have your Days of Iron ornaments, and then we also have a miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is all consumable items. Then we have your Silver Dust. As for Warlocks, you get the Hood of Triumph. I'm going to take a good look at this. It has Ashes to Assets, Second Thoughts, and Better Already. This is definitely a helmet I'm looking forward to grabbing, if possible. Uh, just definitely need a tier uh, 12 roll on it, and I'd be happy. Then we have your Robes of Triumph. This has Pulse Rifle Ammo, Sidearm Ammo, Solar Burn Defense, as well as Solar Armor. Then we have your Gloves of Triumph. This has Snap Discharge, Momentum Transfer, 
and scout rifle loader. Then we have your steps of triumph. This has shotgun ammo, rocket launcher ammo, and solar double down. Then we got your uh, new exotic ornaments. You got the settled score for the touch of malice, the uh, chrono shot for the vex mythoclast, devourer of moons for the necrochasm, undiscovered country for the no land beyond. Then we got the tiger shark for the dragon's breath. Whoops. Then we got the perfected predator for the Lord of Wolves. And then we got uh, Basilisk's Glory for the Suros Regime. New ship is called Order Theory. And it, there we go. Here's, and this is what that looks like. It's a pretty cool looking ship. And then we also have uh, Needle and Thread. It's nice and white. Both of these ships are just reskins of another ship, and this one actually has that extra lighting around it as well. For shaders, we get the new Brushfire shader, and this is what it looks like on a Warlock. Looks like a little copper tone to it. Then we got the Barrage. Like a bright copper tone to it. I don't know if I could call that red, or like a reddish brown. And then we have the Blast of War. I don't know. I like it. I, I actually like the way that looks. Hmm. And that is pretty much it for the uh, Treasures of the Ages. I'm sorry. Yeah. For the Treasures of the Ages form Test Eververse. Now, if you come over to your kiosk... You can see that there is a couple things. You got mystery bags. You got one for uh, Varix. You get one for uh, the Dawning. Vanguard, Crucible, Future War Cult, as well as Dead Orbits, and New Monarchy, and the Iron Banner. Now, you can only get the faction you are currently with in order to get that faction's engram. So you have to be with a faction in order to get that faction's engram. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. And then all the other ornaments, these are all just repeats. Also your old gear that you can get again. Emotes, miscellaneous, masks, emblems. All that wonderful stuff. So, now that we are at New Monarchy, Let's see if we can help each other. the weapons did not change at all. Weapons remain the same. However, the things that have changed are the perks on them. So first, we are looking at the Assembly 2. It has Red Dot O-R-A, Sure Shot I-S, O-E-G Rifle Scope, as well as uh, Flared Magwell, Quick Draw, uh, I'm sorry, perfect balance, spray and play, and counterbalance. Now, as I said before, these weapons will change from week to week. Next, we got Steady Hand IS, Fast Draw IS, Quick Draw IS, Hip Fire, Explosive Rounds, Hammer Forged, Outlaw, and Range Finder, and this is on the Free Will 3. Next is the In Preacher 5, True Sight. Sure shot, quick draw, uh, I'm sorry, uh, high caliber rounds, quick draw, hand loaded, zen moment, as well as range finder. On the bad console 4, we have the linear compensator, agorized ballistics, aggressive ballistics, extended mag, quick draw, perfect balance, close and or personal, and crowd control. This actually might be a good uh, shotgun to use. Definitely isn't no Matador 64, but definitely does have good perks. Next, we have the Deposition 7. This has uh, Sightsys SLS20, Ambush SLH25, and Vutac SLH20. We have high caliber rounds, snapshot, small bore, triple tap, firefly. 
Next, we have the First Citizen 9. This has CQB Ballistics, Smooth Ballistics, Soft Ballistics, Flared Magwell, Quick Draw, Small Bore, Crowd Control, as well as Eye of the Storm. Now, each faction does have their respective uh, Unity Engrams or en Faction Engrams that you can actually grab, and it will contain a piece of New Monarchy armor. Now, whether it's actually just armor or armor and weapons, I don't know. I haven't actually purchased one of these, and I probably won't. Um, and then we have your ghosts. Up top, we still have the material exchange, Mozart light, weapon parts, armor, uh, special ammo synthesis, heavy, and worm spore. Now, and that is New Monarchy. I guess we can go over the uh, armor as well. Energy projection, impact induction, and sidearm loader for the gauntlets. For the Warlock, Boots, we have Fusion Rifle Ammo, Machine Gun Ammo, Solar Double Down. And then for the Bond, we have Auto Rifle Focus, Shotgun Focus, as well as Crucible Champion. Going for the Helmet, we have Hands On, Heavy Lifting, and Better Already. As for the chest piece, we have Pulse Rifle Ammo, Sniper Rifle Ammo, Void Recovery, and Void Armor. And that completes New Monarchy. Next, we'll be going over the Dead Orbit gear. And we're going to start with, uh, this time we're actually going to start with the gear. We have... Snap Discharge, Momentum Transfer, as well as Shotgun Loader. For the legs, we have Shotgun Ammo, Rocket Launcher Ammo, as well as Void Double Down. Bond, we have Pulse Rifle Focus, Sniper Rifle Focus, as well as Crucible Champion. Helmet, we have Ashes to Assets, Second Thoughts. And better already. These two I definitely like on helmets. And for the last piece is the chest. We have scout rifle ammo, shotgun ammo, arc recovery, and arc armor. As for the weapons, we have the Extremophile 011. This has red dot OAR, steady hand IS. OEG, Extended Mag, Snapshot, Hammer Forged, Spraying Play, and Hidden Hand. And we have the Keystone 01, Red Dot ORA, Range Lens, OEG, uh, Rifle Scope, Extended Mag, Snapshot, Hammer Forged, Triple Tap, and Firefly. Then we got uh, Worlds to Come with Reflex, Red Dot ORA, OEG, Enhanced Battery, Lightweight, Hammer Forged, Unflinching, and Eye of the Storm. Then we got, whoops. Then we got your last ditch, 001. We got Smooth Ballistics, CQB Ballistics, Soft Ballistics, Extended Mag, Snapshot. Small bore, cascade, and full auto. Should be pretty interesting. For your sniper rifle, we got the Bitter Edge 010. Got uh, Sightsys SLS20, Longview SLR10, then Taxis SLS15. Got high caliber, lightweight, small bore, life support, and hidden hand. As for your rocket launcher, we got Unto Dust with Aggressive Launch, Smart Drift Control, Hard Launch, Flared Magwell, Lightweight, Javelin, Tripod, as well as Grenades and Horseshoes. And then we also have your Faction Engram, as well as the Ghosts. Goodbye. Our secrets. Last faction we'll be going over is Future Wilcoats. 
we're going to start with the gauntlets first. We have energy projection, impact induction, as well as rifle, uh, pulse rifle loader. Boots, we have sniper rifle ammo, rocket launcher ammo, as well as void double down. And then for your exotic bond, I'm sorry, for your um, class item, which is the warlock bond, we have hand cannon focus, uh, machine gun focus, as well as crucible champion. Coming down. On the helmet, we have Inverse Shadow, Heavy Lifting, and Better Already. And for your chest, we have Pulse Rifle Ammo, Shotgun Ammo, Void Recovery, and Void Armor. For weapons, we are going to start with the Whale. The Whale has Steady Hand, Fast Draw, Quick Draw, Explosive Rounds, Lightweight, Perfect Balance, Relentless Tracker, as well as Firefly. The Waltz has MD Reflex, Sure Shot, OEG Rifle Scope, High Caliber Rounds, Lightweight, Hammer Forged, Outlaw, as well as Counterbalance. The Waiting, we have MD Reflex, Red Dot ORA2, OEG, Accelerated Coils, Hip Fire, Small Bore. Unflinching, as well as Eye of the Storm. Then we have The Wounded. With Red Dot ORA2, Range Lens, RLR5, OEG, Extended Mag, Full Auto, Small Bore, Outlaw with Hidden Hand. The fact that this has Full Auto, Outlaw, and Hidden Hand makes this pretty nice. Then we have the Wormwood, and I actually feel like this actually got worse. Uh, we have True Sight, Sure Shot, Quick Draw, Flared Magwell, Hip Fire, Fitted Stock, Relentless Tracker, as well as Reactive Reload. I really think that uh, the Wormwood prior to this, actually the one I have, whoops, give me a second. The one I had that we got from last week, I feel is actually better. But that's just me. Then we have the Warpath. This has Warhead Veneers, Soft Launch, Counter Mass, Flared Magwell, Quick Draw, Javelin, Spray and Play, as well as Tracking. Then we have your uh, Faction Engram and your Ghosts. So, starting off with the weapons, we are going to look at the Vanguard Quartermaster. We have uh, the Continental. This has Red Dot ORA, Steady Hand IS, OEG Rifle Scope, Focus Fire, Close and or Personal, Perfect Balance, Feather Mag, as well as Persistence. The Parthian Shot has a little bit better roll than uh, I did last uh, week. We have Reflex, Quick Draw. OEG, Outlaw, Partial Refund, Braced Frame, Feather Mag, and Range Finder. Personally, I would use Reflex, Outlaw, Braced Frame, and Range Finder. Next, we have the Angel's Advocates. We have Red Dot ORA2, Range Lens RLR5, OEG, Zen Moment, Last Resort, Brace Frame, Hammer Fours, and Third Eye. Now, getting this weapon with Third Eye and another and a, several other good perks would definitely make this uh, cool legendary uh, Mita. But you, you got to get that stability up as well as that. Uh, you definitely got to get that stability up. Range is perfectly fine, but you definitely have to get the stability up on this thing. Comparing that to the Mita, give me a second. It's not so bad, you know, just a little bit more stability and it definitely would be a better contender, in my opinion. The next weapon we're going over is the How Dare You. This has True Sight, Fast Draw, Quick Draw, Relentless Tracker, Last Resort, Hammer Forged, High caliber rounds and reactive reload. Still, I don't think it's good. 
Uh, then we have the X asterisk. This has reflex, red dot, O, R, A, 2, O, E, G, battle runner, replenish, small bore, enhanced battery, and eye of the storm. Then we have your Teacup Tempest. This has Steady Hand, Fast Draw, Quick Draw, Zen Moment, Feed and Frenzy, Fitted Stock, Casket Mag, and Range Finder. If you were to get the Teacup Tempest, I definitely would uh, put uh, Zen Moment, Fitted Stock, and Range Finder on it. Next we have the Ocam's Razor with uh, Smooth Ballistics, CQB Ballistics, Soft Ballistics, Cascade, Army of One, Small Bore, Perfect Balance, as well as Full Auto. Okay, not really that good in damage. Then we have your 7th Sense. This has Wild Hawk, Long View, Taxis, Triple Tap, Mulligan, Skip Rounds, Perfect Balance, as well as Hidden Hand. Then we have your Bone Crusher. This has CQB Ballistics, Smart Drift Control, Field Choke, Unflinching, Hip Fire, Brace Frame, Quick Draw, and Persistence. And then, last but not least, we have your Disassembly Required. We have Warhead Veneers, Linear Compensator, Countermass, Vacuum, Army of One, Snapshot, Javelin, as well as Grenades and Horseshoes. So that is pretty much it for the Vanguard, and now we are on our way to the Crucible Weapons. So, for your Crucible Weapons, first we have the Day Zero Dilemma. This has MD Reflex, Quick Draw, uh, OEG Rifle Scope, Spray and Play, Danger Close, Small Bore, Appendant Mag, and Counterbalance. Then we have your B29 Party Favor with MD Reflex, Sure Shot, OEG Rifle Scope, Eye of the Storm, Life Support, Perfect Balance, Feather Mag, and Range Finder. Then we have the Hero Formula with Red Dot ORA2, Range Lens, OEG Rifle Scope, Zen Moment, Take a Knee, Hand Laid Stock, Armor Piercing Rounds, oh, Armor Piercing Rounds, yeah, sorry, and Reactive Reload. Then we have the infamous Palindrome. This has True Sight IS, Sure Shot IS, Quick Draw, Outlaw, Icarus, Rifled Barrel, high caliber rounds, and reactive reload. Now, this is an okay palindrome. I per personally would prefer the one that, that was here last week, but hey, the fact that this has outlaw and reactive reload with rifle barrel and sure shot makes this a good contender, but it also does have Icarus as well. And a lot of people favor Icarus when it comes to uh, hand cannons. Or actually a lot of weapons, including scout rifles as well. But it does not have a luck in the chamber. Then we have your Each New Day with Reflex, Red Dot, OEG, Hip Fire, Life Support, Hand Laid Stock, Enhanced Battery, Counterbalance. Then we have your 44 Curtain Call with Smooth Ballistics. CQB Ballistics, Aggressive Ballistics, Close and or Personal, Battle Runner, Hammer Forged, Quick Draw, and Final Round. Then we have Anton's Rule with uh, Steady Hand, Fast Draw, Quick Draw, Relentless Tracker, Cascade, Hand Loaded, Lightweight, and Hidden Hand. Then we have your Event Horizon with Hawkeye, uh, View Tech, Taxis, Underdog, Perfectionist, Explosive Rounds, Snapshot, and Hidden Hand. Then we have your Chaotic Neutral with Aggressive Ballistics, Smooth Ballistics, as well as Field Choke, Eye of the Storm, Take a Knee, Perfect Balance, Armor, Piercing Rounds, and Counterbalance. That's definitely going to be one, like, accurate uh, machine gun. Then we have your Something Wicked. Something Wicked has Aggressive Launch, uh, Smart Drift Control, Countermass, Battle Runner, Danger Close, Perfect Balance, Field Scout, as well as Grenades and Horseshoes. 
Now, heading over to Lord Shaq's real quick. Lord Shaq now has two weekly bounties, not just one. Gear doesn't really change that much for Lord Shaq's, but we will... Mm, we'll look at the gear real quick. So, we have Snap Discharge, Momentum Transfer, and Sidearm Loader. Then we have Shotgun Ammo, uh, Machine Gun Ammo, Void, Double Down, as well as Capture King. Then we have the Warlock Bond with Scout Rifle Focus, Fusion Rifle Focus, and Crucible Champion. Then we have your Chest Piece with Hand Cannon Ammo, Fusion Rifle Ammo, Arc Recovery, and Arc Armor. And then we have your Three Ghosts. As for the helmet, it has hands-on, heavy lifting, and infusion. And also the Crucible uh, Engram. And we'll go to Ikora Ray real quick to finish this out. Any of this help? Ikora Ray has energy projection, impact induction, rifle, uh, pulse rifle loader. Sniper rifle ammo. Rocket Launcher Ammo, as well as Arc Double Down. Hand Cannon Focus, Sniper Rifle Focus, Vanguard Champion. Scout Rifle Ammo, Sidearm Ammo, Solar Burn Defense, and Solar Armor. Your Ghosts. And then your Helmet. Ashes to Assets, Second Thoughts, and Better Already. And last but not least, we have your Vanguard Engram. Now, as for your exotics, there is no new exotic armor, but there is new exotic weapons. And as you can see, they are not filled out. But there are a lot of exotic weapons, new ones, obviously, to get. Most likely, the majority of them are all of the Raid Adept weapons, the four primaries with elemental damage. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see as a future video on Breaking the Fourth Wall. Feedback from you guys is great because it definitely helps the channel to grow. Thank you guys for all of your support. I'm Reckless, and remember, own your success, and I will see you guys next time.